Good morning, YouTube brothers and sisters of the hook. This is Salty Kayak, and I'm at home, and I'm going to narrate as best I can um, these this underwater video footage that I took the last time we were out. And as you can see, um, there's going to be some stop action in here, and the cam is going down. I just hit the bottom. And all these fish that you see right here, those are 99% what I call grunts. They're called Tom Tate grunts, or also ruby lips. And I will do some stop action um, when I see something interesting so that I can point it out to you. Um, because there are some fish like that black one right there in the background, that little, we'll see him way back there behind that pipe. That is a mangrove snapper. Uh, all these other fish that you see, there's a trigger fish in the upper left-hand corner. Um, and these um, grunts are shaded differently, I guess, between the males and the females and their, the age of their spawning and all that kind of stuff. There is a uh, spot tail pinfish. See them right there? Spot tail pinfish just going off the screen now. There's a red snapper, little red snapper, going off the screen. Okay. Grunts, grunts. Oh, there's a mangrove snapper. See him in the background there? With a stripe kind of across his eye, he's just disappeared. And that little black job, I don't know, that's just, it's a, actually a pretty small fish. I've caught them before. Uh, they're not good for much of anything. There's another spot tail pin. Oh, and a big old mangrove. Okay, um, I'll do some stop footage here in just a little bit when I see something dynamic that you need to see. Oh, there's another mangrove. I saw him going off. All right, coming up here in the upper left-hand corner is a huge school of bait fish. Don't know what kind they are, scale sardines or something. They look bigger than scale sardines, but I am not certain. Um, it's amazing. There's a vermilion snapper. Stop the... Okay, this is a vermilion snapper, just down below the word vermilion snapper, also known as a beeliner. And as you can tell, the color shift, um, this deep down, 65 feet down, you don't see any of the colors. Well, you don't see any of the colors yet. You will see some that are really, some fish that are really dynamic colored fish. They're called pork fish and very brilliant yellow, even this deep under the water. There's a vermilion snapper getting right, going over top of that culvert right there. Grunts, 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 lots of grunts. That's all bait, folks. <laughs> it's all bait. And as soon as I see something of interest, I'll do some another stop action. What I like to do is I really pay attention to what's in the background. All right, you see that big old mangrove snapper cruising along? just above and behind that culvert there? Wow, nice big boy. Mangrove snapper. Vermilion snapper. A few vermilions. A million grunts. And a couple of odds and ends fish. This is why I call it the city underground. There was a uh, mangrove snapper going off to the right there what's that big one in the background oh my gosh there's a big fish in the background probably a big old red snapper there's a couple of great big huge ones show up i'll see if i can point them out as the video is going along it's hard to pay attention in the background there because there's so much action going on in the foreground I can watch these videos two and three times 
four or five times sometimes and see something that I, I missed before. Nice vermilion snapper going right in front of the, the camera there. <clears throat> that little black job in, way in the background. It's another uh, darker colored mangrove snapper. And I see a fish right there that I don't recognize in the background just cruising nice and slow. Nice size fish. I've had to up the contrast to maximum and it's still not quite good enough um, to separate the uh, light color on the top from the color of the bottom area. Oh, there's a mangrove just above the pipe. See him there? Coming kind of towards at the bottom. Now he's going back over the pipe. Those are culverts that were dropped years and years and decades ago, half sunk now in the sand from the storms. All right, getting ready to come into the picture right now is a pork fish. Beautiful fish. See the yellow? You can see the yellow? Brilliant yellow. Um, they're called decorative reef fish. And they used to be illegal to catch and keep, but uh, that dropped off a couple of years ago. So I caught one and ate one. There's no, there he is again. Oh, beautiful fish. Um, but let me tell you something, folks. <laughs> they are nasty. Nasty to eat. Not a good fish to eat at all. Vermilion snapper there. Just hanging around. And coming into the picture right now is just your typical old pinfish. Now that is about the best bait you can get right there. Okay, boys and girls, get ready to see an incredible monster. Here it comes into the background, just above that culvert there. Look at the size of that. I'm going to say that's a huge red snapper, probably 33, 34, 35 inches. There's a pork fish coming and going amongst all them grunts and a couple of vermilion snapper. Now, that great big gigantic fish could be the same one, could be a different one, begins to show up again uh, later on in the video. That pork fish on that pipe right there, see him chewing on some uh, mussels and stuff like that. I see in the background, there's a vermilion snapper in the foreground. Boy, there's always something going on in there. Look at that. That's why I call it the city. Everything's moving. Everything's moving. Oh, there's a red snapper. A juvenile little guy. There's a bait fish right there. A little teeny bait fish.
All right, red snapper, lower right hand corner. I don't know what it is. It <laughs> underwater there. There, the top fin turns has a black line on it. It's kind of weird. You don't see that when you get it up above, out of the water. And it's not on all the red snappers, just those little bitty ones. Now these grunts, they are, you know, hand size. All right, I see. Stop the action. Okay, see that little fella there um, with the prominent spot just below the word lane snapper? That's a lane snapper. And there's several of them that show up in here, some closer, some further away. We'll see them as they come along, and I'll try to point them out for you. Look at all that bait fish in the background. Oh, my word. Hmm. <sighs> about that little red snapper there. Everything's moving off to the right. Don't know why. Big John, you know, we're throwing out our lines right close to it here. There's a uh, red snapper, little red snapper. We're throwing out our lines, and whenever the fish see something, there's a pinfish right there. Pinfish. Just a regular old pin. The fish all kind of head towards where we uh, throw our lines out. Not all the time. The million snapper... These are little vermilions, not big ones. They're all in the 10, 11 inch range. There's the lane snapper, if you can see it in the background there. I see him. Uh, always something to distract your attention from seeing what's in the background with all the action that's happening in the f foreground. Notice how these grunts, some of them have real black lines down the side, and the other ones, there's a lane snapper, see him there? The other ones have uh, very mottled, very bland look like that one there. There's a lay, um, vermilion snapper. I'm trying the best I can, folks. I know it's hard to keep up. That's my first narration. And you're probably going to see stuff that I miss because there's just so much activity going on. If you're looking in the background and I'm looking in the foreground, you're seeing stuff that I'm not watching. Okay, coming into the uh, picture right now is a lane snapper seam right there with that spot on his back. That's a lane. That would be a keeper lane also. Big enough to keep. There's a mangrove snapper. And look at that gigantic red snapper in the background. Oh my goodness. That's probably 27, 28. Oh, look at it. It's monster. Could be a 30, 33 incher. Woo! They're down there, folks. <laughs> we just don't see them. There's a vermilion snapper right in the middle of the screen. And a mangrove snapper in the background a little bit there. Vermilion snapper, grunts. Look at the background. Look in the background at all oh, the bait fish. Incredible. That's why we have gigantic fish at these uh, artificial reefs. They're well fed. They are well fed. Okay, the bee liner there on the bottom. Looks like it almost could be legal size, very close. But these are kind of small because they're in so close. Looks like about maybe 
15% of these fish are bee liners. 10%, 15%. Oh, look at that big old lane snapper right there. That spot on his back. Oh, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. He's just hanging there so you can see him. Taunting you. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at all the background. All that bait in the background. Now, there's a red snapper going by up there. Up the right hand corner. When we're on the surface, you don't see any of this stuff. None of it. And look at all the activity that's going on. We're just up there bouncing around in the boat. And it was pretty good size waves when I dropped this, these cams down. I had two cams that I dropped down on this. Dropped down. I had three, actually. One of them wouldn't work right. But the two... This one here was fortunately pointing at these culverts because I, I purposely stopped on the edge of the, um, the pile of culverts because you definitely don't want to drop it down in the middle of the culverts because you can lose everything. And anyway, a little bit later on, there's a turtle that comes by. You can't see him other than a fin every once in a while. And he actually looked like he tried to munch on the cams. But that'll be near the end because he actually turned the whole rig over on its side. I won't show too much of that because it's real distracting. But you'll see it's a turtle. Lane snapper. Oh, you see that? That grunt right there has got a couple of bite marks in him. Something tried to chew on him. He got away. Oh, lane snapper in the background. See that big old black spot? Now these piles of culverts, let me explain it to you. This is the edge. They drop culverts down and they move a little bit. They drop some more culverts down. They only move maybe 10 feet or so. So there's scattered culverts on the perimeter and there's a big pile in the middle and uh, the perimeters where I always like to fish because there's a few a little bit fewer of these grunts on the outer perimeter because it's more dangerous for them um, <clears throat> but uh, they're only probably a hundred feet 110 feet long and maybe 50 to 60 feet wide but sometimes they're circular where they drop all these culverts but still it's just a small small section but look at all the life in this just a small little tiny area I wish they would drop another thousand of these reefs out here man there'd be more fish than anybody could ever catch Isn't that beautiful? Just look at all those fish. That's life. That is life. All right, coming up here in just a second, you'll see a nice mangrove snapper. 
good healthy size one. That would be a great one to put in the cooler. Wish I had some small live bait. Swims off into the distance. Look at all that background activity going on there. Later on in this video, I hope I can show it to you. Because it just happens in a flash of a second. Looks like there's either a, a great big king mackerel or a possible wahoo. He just flashes in and out and he's gone. If I can see it, I'll show it to you. Take a look at that great big old red snapper. How about that big old red snapper? That looks like about a 25 incher. Kind of hard to tell. Ooh, this could be where the turtle starts. Yeah, this is where the turtle's getting messed up in the line. How about that beautiful little starfish there, huh? switching now to the other cam that was about 30 degrees angled to the right. There's no culverts in the background here. Um, I'll just put a few clips in of what this other cam was looking at. There's a spot tail pinfish. Um, this is where the Mr. Turtle's coming along and he's messing things up. A little bit of a different angle here. We're looking up into the sky. <laughs> We're, actually, folks, just remember this. These camps are directly, directly underneath the boat. The boat is straight up above here. And this is an angle looking up. Look at all that bait fish. I guess those are scaled sardines or something like that. Um, and in the, in the background, just every once in a while, you can see either a king mackerel or or some other large fish, maybe possibly a wahoo, cruising by. And I did see a great big old red snapper make a dash for trying to get some of this bait. And remember, this is also at half speed. So everything that you're watching is in slow motion. Now, just double that. And it is almost impossible to keep up with all the information that is, you know, that you're looking at and to see everything. That's why you have to almost look at it twice. Also, this marine snow that you see, that's pretty much always in the water, sometimes much worse than other times. Uh, I think they call it detritus or something like that. It's, it's just, you know, residue of plants and animals. Um after they spawn and stuff, just floating through the water. And there's a um, trigger fish. The trigger fish are up in the column a little bit higher. That's why you don't see too many of them in the other first part of the video, because they are up in the column, uh, along with, you know, all that bait fish up there, and a lot of vermilion snapper are also up in the column. Just keep an eye open, and you'll see... Some big fish in the background. If I if I see them, I'll holler at you and let you know. 
Keep your eyes open. Look at all that bait. That's incredible. So much life. And it's abundant. Life abundant. Lots of vermilion snapper. Get out a little bit deeper. There's some big ones out there. Get in about twice the depth. And those vermilion snapper turn into 14, 16 inch vermilion snapper. Spot tail pinfish. Mostly grunts, of course. Ruby lips, we call them. Pretty soon, the um, amber jacks. And Almaco jacks start moving in, and they'll start cleaning out some of this bait. And they're going to go to where, as the water warms up, they're going to go to where the food is. This is the basic Power Director uh, 15, I think it is, that I have. I don't have the color director that also helps with the color uh, enhancement. I think pretty soon you're going to see a large fish swim near the top of the screen. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Could be a big old snapper. Um, wait a minute. Here he comes. Where is he? That was him right there. Yeah. Near the top of the screen. Anyway, um, if I had if I had the color director as a plug-in for this, uh, it costs a little bit more money than I've got right now. Um, I'm sure that we can see things a little bit better, but I have to up the contrast, which makes things a little bit harder to see here. Look at all that bait. Isn't that incredible? Fantastic. Okay, look to the top, a little bit to the right. That, I believe, is a king mackerel. Just disappeared behind the uh, the bait balls there. Get ready right in the upper left hand corner. There is another king, and there it looks like a big mangrove or something. Just hit the bait ball also. There's things happening way in the background that we can't see. Whenever you see these fish move rapidly. That's because they're being attacked from an angle that we can't see. Okay, if you keep your eyes open to the top left up there, you'll see a small school of spade fish. And I believe I see a king mackerel. See it up there? To the right? The middle right? Yeah, that's a king or some other a little bit slower moving fish than a uh, wahoo. Could be a king.
way up high up there I think you're going to see a big trigger fish. Yeah, that's a big trigger up there. comes Mr. Turtle again. There's his tail and one of his flippers. Another flipper. There's his back. Barnacles on it. There's his eyeball and his head. You never know what you're going to see down there, folks. I'm going to end this pretty soon. Pull these cams up. This is back again. I guess he's scratching his I hope he's not trying to mate with my cams. Doggone thing. <laughs> Chewing on my cams. 